So with a really small jellyfish like this, in order to capture its prey, it's got to stun it and kill it very rapidly. So some of these really small organisms have very potent stings. No need to tell that to the 20-year-old Lincroft man who was hospitalized for three days, treated with morphine for what he suspects was a sting from a clinging jellyfish. It's never been recorded in New Jersey, so we weren't sure until we had a positive hit on the DNA. Now it's official. These dime-sized pests are small, mighty, and they're residents of the Garden State. They tend to be in sort of more quiet waters. So within the Shrewsbury estuary, within back bays, within areas that the water is a little bit more calm. The habitat they like are things like eelgrass beds or algal beds, sort of the sea lettuce that you might see in those areas. That tends to be the places that you're going to potentially encounter them. This research team is on the lookout for clinging jellyfish in Barnegat Bay, where a fisherman found the first one earlier this month. They're translucent, save for a small X in the center. So what we do is we take out a long net that's sort of cone-shaped, and it has a weighted end in the back, and we drop it off the boat, and the boat's going very, very slowly. So it trails off in the distance behind us, and it stays submerged completely below the surface for a minute, and then we lift the net up, and what that does is everything that's smaller than 350 micrometers, so really small, would come out. Everything that's larger stays inside, and we collect those organisms, and once we get them back on the boat, we rinse them down in a sieve and preserve them in a jar to bring home with us. We collected, I think, 70 or 80 of those kind of clinging jellyfish um, a couple days ago, and there's a lot of them. It went from kind of one person found one to suddenly now here we are with a bunch. This group and the Department of Environmental Protection are examining the Barnegat Bay as part of an action plan by Governor Christie, crafted in 2010, revamped in 2012. New Jersey's jellyfish population took a hit during Superstorm Sandy when intense weather tore growing polyps off their natural habitats. But now that damage has largely been repaired. That means there are more docks and bulkheads for new jellyfish to make their home. It kind of like increases the diversity of these small organisms that we really had not seen before. The good news? Clinging jellyfish aren't found in ocean waters where Bologna says the surf would tear them apart. Since their translucent bodies make them hard to spot, he has a word of caution for swimmers in New Jersey's rivers and bays. Look before you leap. In Mandalokan, I'm Erin Delmore, NJTV News.